So here we are on the home page of Kittle, and there's a lot that you can go ahead and do without even being signed up. You can go through and you can check out different features. You can go and, for example, click on merchandise templates, and you can sort through all of our templates, which I'm going to show you when we log in as well. But you can also go up here, and like I mentioned earlier, I will have this page linked for you down below for you to go and access. You can see all the differences. You can see what it would be monthly versus yearly, as well as all the tier accounts. You can even go down here and compare hair. And this is a very, very helpful chart for you when you're trying to decide if this is a good decision for you or not. But again, it's free, no harm to you. I would go ahead and sign up and definitely check out a lot of the different things that we have in Kittle. All right, so let's talk a little bit about what happens when you log in. So after you log in, you're gonna be going through an onboarding, you're gonna go through a little survey, talking a little bit about what you wanna be doing because that just helps us best serve you in terms of the templates or the learnings or whatever we want to help you grow in your career or whatever you might be designing. But once you get into your home, dashboard your area this is what it's gonna look like so you have your home section you can see up here and just FYI sometimes we do like to move the things in the left panel up and down or around or we may categorize them a little bit differently but you'll always be able to find these things so no harm if you are seeing something a little bit different or maybe it's worded a little bit different than what you see in the video generally the functionality is going to be the same so right now We've got home at the top here. You can see your recent projects. I can jump back into these. You see I work a lot on thumbnails. Uh, I work a lot on little funny humor things. I've got some templates that I'm compiling for people uh, to get in and easily uh, use, you know, script fonts and all that kind of stuff. And then I have some things that are suggested for me as well as tools. So that's a brief overview of the home panel. And sometimes you'll jump back into this and maybe uh, the For You page is a little bit different. Or maybe we've updated a new tool. And you can click on these. They're going to open up into the editor. But I'm to show you all of that in detail so we don't need to do that right now then you have a recents section where if i go to recents it's just going to show me all of the projects that i have been working on recently here in my profile then if i go to shared projects that's going to show me everything that i've been invited to now again that's for a later part of the video again you can find those timestamps. we're going to talk about sharing and collaboration and teams later on. Speaking of teams, you have what's called your space here or your individual team, which is just you. It's it's all for you, but you can also invite people to it. This is where you would be able to go and check out other teams that you have created, again, for a later part of the video. And then we have projects, templates, and tools. And if I click on my projects, I can see all of my projects here. And I'm going to show you some of the capabilities so that you are well aware of how to get the most out of your profile. So already you can see I have created some folders here and I've created lots and lots and lots of projects. Now, there are some super helpful things that you should know about. First of all is projects. So for example, if I know that this says funny type posters, and let's just say I had already created another, I don't know, 20 projects and I've kind of lost it, I can just type in funny and then that's going to show me the project name that I've been looking for. And I use this a lot because I have hundreds of projects in Kittle at this point. And so a lot of times I will be like, wait, what was that project? And I need to use the search bar to find it. But another thing that I will use a lot is folders. You can see I have a couple of different folders up here for example I have another YouTube channel I like to make different content for and so I've orchestrated all of these specific projects or thumbnails inside of this folder and so just to show you how that would work let's say I really like these monoline script for something I want to use in the the clever ferrets menu or something like that if I wanted to I could go down here and I could move it to that folder so you see these three dots you can do a lot of different things you can copy a link to that project you could duplicate that project if you wanted to make it again again we're gonna be talking about making more projects and templates here or you can move it to a folder and if I choose to move it to a folder then I could just select the one that I've created and then move it to it or I could add a new one maybe I want to create a brand new folder which it did right there and I've already scrolled away from it but I could go in here and rename it and maybe this one's gonna be you know font favorites which by the way is a feature I'll be showing you later on but just to show you for example I can also just click this check and you see how it says one project selected I can go down here move to folder 
or remember, I can uncheck this and I can go here to move to folder, either one. And I'm going to click this and then I'm gonna find font favorites, move to folder. And now that project has been moved into this folder. Really useful, really easy for organizing all of your stuff. If I ever wanted it to go away, I could just remove it from this folder. So I'll go ahead and do that. It's away now, I can go back, and I can even go on here and just delete this folder. And by the way, you can do the same thing with deleting projects. If you find a project or you accidentally create one, or maybe you started opening up templates that you don't want anymore or you're just not really worried about, you can always go to the three dots and delete that project, just like I showed you how you can go and you can rename or delete a folder.